Hi guys, Joanne here from Gagnon's Mountain. We um, have a unofficial kind of Wednesday off. It's a special day for us, but we'll get to more of that later. If you wait till the end of the video, we'll share with you what we do on this day every year. Um, so we're gonna get to some work around here. We got these posts. We're gonna get that, get these back there and start figuring out where we're gonna clear for our goats. We gotta get a bunch of wood chips into that coop because that coop's really muddy. But luckily for us, we have a lot of chips we can get in there. That'll be good. Um, maybe fell some trees, let you guys watch that fun. Cause that's a lot of fun, especially for Tony when he got them. So we'll be back and talk to you later. All right guys, so our first project of the day is off. We are gonna get a bunch of wood chips and drop them into the chicken coop and spread them out. Hopefully that'll help with all the mud we're experiencing because that's not good for the chicken, so. And at some point, we're gonna build the ducks their own enclosure. They don't know what to think. They're all gonna hide, that's cool. I kind of expected them all to. But Tony's gonna dump all this in there and then we're gonna go get some more because we need that bottom layer nice and thick for them. But they will be. Talk to you soon. Huh? Okay. We'll talk to you soon. I'm gonna get going on spreading it out for them. Alright, so we brought three loads of chips over to the chicken area, chicken run. Joey's in there spreading it now and she's shoveling some under the coop. So but when the chickens weren't afraid of the tractor coming in, they were in it right away and pecking through it because I'm sure it's full of bugs and stuff for them. So this ought to be good for them. Oh, see, they're coming out now. Because I'm shoving stuff into their hiding spot. They're coming out now. They'll start pecking through this and getting all the good stuff out of it. And hopefully keep some mud down a little bit. All right. Time for our next project. Uh, chickens seem to be really enjoying those wood chips. Um, so now we're going to show you where it is that we're going to be setting up the goats with their fence and their Here's the back of the house with the dog kennel, with the dog pen in the garden. Uh, over right over there is the woodshed and there's a chicken coop and then out back here right now we have our fire pit right there here's a tree line there um, the barn's gonna be going right about there and then it'll all be fenced in behind them we'll take a quick walk back there and show you so as we come up our little pathway here you see we get that tree line right there. And eventually there's gonna be a big barn right through here, eventually. And then we'll have a road that comes up from behind the house and over this way and over in front of that barn. So we wanna, where we're putting the goat barn for now is eventually gonna be just a smaller barn, but it's gonna be directly behind where the big barn will be. So the big barn will be right over here, and right now we're going to put the goat barn over in here. And then this will be all fenced in, all through here, about 80 feet by 60 feet. So what we have to do now is all these pine trees are going to be coming out. All these pine trees through this whole area back here. You can see over there is, is the area that we've already been clearing. There's a sawmill there. You can kind of see it through the woods. But this area through here we haven't really cleared yet. I've only felled one big tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all the pine trees out of here and we're going to leave all the hardwoods. So that's our next project now. So then we can set the posts for the fence and then let the cement dry on them and then start on the fence and the barn for the goats. So we got a lot of work to do in the next six weeks. In the meantime, we still have to finish the woodshed and we have to start on firewood at some point too. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to cut some trees because we've got to make room for the goat stuff, for the goat fence in the barn. 
Um, really cool thing is, is these trees I'm cutting down now, I'm going to start with that one there, that pine, then this one, I'll get a few others. This is the wood that we're going to be making the barn out of. So we're going to cut it down from here, bring it over to the mill, mill it, and bring it back here and build a barn out of it. I just, to me personally, I just find that really cool um, that we're using these trees to make lumber to build something right where the trees were. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this small one. I am wearing some safety gear. Uh, I'm going to get my chaps on, my ear protection, my eye protection. I'm wearing gloves. So we'll go ahead and drop that one. Hopefully it goes in the way that we want it to. So let's find out. Very sweet. All right, so that's the first one. Now we're going to go ahead and do a few more. We'll show you because if you look straight back here, you're going to be doing some clearing here. So we're going to take some of these out and then we'll come back. Go. All right, I just want to take a second here to explain what it is Sawyer's or the sawmill guys call yard trees. Um, it's just that, it is a tree that. It's a, it's a, a tree that was in, in a yard. Um, this tree here wasn't quite in a yard, but this is where the tree house was. And there were kids playing back here. As you can see, there's stuff like nailed up to it and that. So what that means is I don't want to bring the bottom 10 or 15 feet of this to the sawmill because there's bound to be nails and bolts and screws there. And that really plays havoc with the blade on the sawmill. So what I'll do is I'll cut the bottom 10 or, 10 or, 10 or so feet of this off and we'll use that for firewood in the fire pit and the rest I will use to make boards. So yard trees are something that we really don't want to cut into because once again, nails, bolts, whatever could be in them and it ruins the blades and those are kind of pricey. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this tree now and we'll be back. There it goes. <laughs> All right. 
Two down. Bunch to go. We'll talk to you soon. And this is the area after we cut down some trees. As you can see, it's much more open now. Got a lot more light in there. And uh, this ought to be pretty good for the goats. They're gonna, we're gonna fence all that in. All back in there will be fenced in once we clean all this pine out of here. And once again, these pines will be uh, for the goat barn. So we'll keep on working. Hi guys, we were, when we started today, we were gonna um, include you all in something we do. Um, June 26th every year, we set out the lantern because we have a child that is no longer with us. And we can't seem to find the lanterns tonight, which is making us even more sad. But we can't do it. So we are just going to close up the day. It was quite productive. We got a few things done that we wanted to. We just won't be doing a lantern. Um, get more? No, just so that's it from, from uh, Gagnon's Mountain. God bless and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a good night, everybody. Take care, guys.